I just had a package show up on my doorstep from Carbon Paintball, and I'm going to unbox this thing in the only way that I know how. All right, Carbon, let's hope that you package this box properly and that I don't destroy anything that is actually inside of it. If I do, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Safety first. Don't want to cause any injuries today. All right, let's go unbox this package from Carbon Paintball. There we go. Uh, it's open. Uh, we have that going for us. So uh, <laughs> I think I might be in a little bit of trouble here. Uh, this <laughs> this was for my kids. This is their uh, their outdoor toy box, and uh, I may be in a little bit of trouble with the misses. But uh, we're not going to tell her or the kids. How about how about that? It's just, this is our little secret. Normally I would take this inside and uh, and unbox the rest of it, but. I think this is gonna be an outside unboxing. Well, at least at this point, I have a solid table that I can finish this unboxing on. So before my wife finds out that I completely destroyed this thing, let's find out what's in the box. First and foremost, I'm not sponsored by Carbon Paintball in any way, shape, and or form. They basically sent me this paintball mask saying, hey, we just want you to try it out. I don't even know where to start with this thing at this point. Hoping I didn't destroy anything. I might have. I might. Carbon, if I if I destroyed this, I'm so sorry. Yeah, everything's just dripping away. Kind of glad I brought this towel with me because I'm probably going to need this. Let's tear this thing open now that I've destroyed the box. Hopefully not the contents. Uh, it's just, yeah, it's all coming apart. Oh my God. What was, what was I thinking? No, I wanted to unbox something, but I wanted to do it differently. I want to have a little bit of paintball flair to it. Oh man, I definitely shot through the uh, the plastic. Oops, I guess I have a little bit of cleaning to do after all of this. Oh God, I hope I did not destroy this. Okay, all right, everything else in here is good. All right, we got a lens and we got a fan. I'm I'm excited to check that out. I'm, I'm really hoping I didn't damage this case. This case looks great, and I've quite literally covered this thing in paint. It's, oh my God. Carbon, I'm so sorry if I did you any sort of injustice. Other than the fact that it's dripping in paint right now, this thing looks great. Here we go. Let's take a look at the inside of this Carbon Zero mask. Oh, you guys get to see it before I do. Oh, wow. Okay, wow. I. I dig that, that is so light. No joke, I am so used to my heavy EVS mask and this thing feels like it weighs nothing at all. The weight difference is, is pretty incomparable. I mean, I do have a bunch of extra added features on my mask. If you wanna know more about this mask setup, I'll leave a link to a video right up here for you. Of course, this is just gonna be in a first impressions video. There's not gonna be a, this isn't the full review. If you've been tracking me in any way, you'll know that my paintball season is pretty much over this year. I'm actually leaving a week from today. Uh, this was an unplanned video. I did not mean to actually create an entire video. My wife is totally mad at me. Uh, I'm leaving for my deployment in a week. I decided to get this video because Carbon went out of their way to send me a brand new mask. Let's unbox this here. Oh man, high volume dual fan. Oh, sick. So this thing is like super tiny. It looks like it takes a single battery on off switch on the back. Easy to install dual screw mounting feature. This thing looks wicked. Gonna have to get that mounted. Comparing that to my X-Fog, I've always used the X-Fog uh, for all of my anti-fog needs. This thing's pretty big compared to this. I'd like to hear the sound difference. Obviously being a YouTuber, sound is a huge thing for me. So if my GoPro can pick this up in any way, I likely won't use it. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see a full review of the fan and or the mask. I, I still can't get over the weight. The, the weight difference of this mask is absolutely stunning. Look at the amount of breathability on this mask. It feels so light, it's, it's airy. I can see my camera through the mask. That is wild. I've always gone with the EVS because it's the only thing that's big enough to cover my fat face. This thing looks like it might be on par. Uh, unfortunately, I will not be able to test this until I come back from my deployment. I cannot wait to try it out. Inside the case here, I also have a paintball. I don't even know how a paintball even ended up in there, but I, apparently there's a paintball. Great, now I got way more cleaning to do than I absolutely wanted to. Whoa, spare foam, oh. Foam with a visor attached to it. Oh dude, that is so sick. So I can actually like change out the foam and put a visor on if I wanted to. Like, I mean, I'm probably not gonna do this because I, that's where my GoPro goes, but th that is awesome. I've never seen a visor with the foam built into it. That is awesome. 
That is innovative. Way to go, Carbon. Even though this is the official end of my paintball season for 2023, doesn't mean it's the end of my videos. I have six videos lined up already to come out after I leave one a month, so that way you guys can be entertained from now until the time I get back. It's gonna be like I'm not even gone. Thank you so much to Carbon Paintball for sending me all this kit out of the kindness of their heart. I do have some cleanup that I have to do, but if you went on to enjoy this video in any way, shape, and or form, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll catch you all on the next one. But until then, Nightmare out.